Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please do make sure you are subscribed because subscribing is free. And also please do make sure you hit the notification bell so you do not miss anything every time I upload. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Hey, eh? Yes. Look at you. <laughs> Y'all know I'm back. Yo, seriously, I've been scared ever since I did that video about that ghost that was sleeping with somebody. I thought that my house was haunted. Girl, I was waiting for Halloween to finish, y'all. I was just, I did not forget about y'all. I did not forget about any of these videos that I was supposed to make, but I was scared as hell. I was scared for my life. I had to go and hide. But anyway, girl, I'm back with another one. Today, I wanted to talk about Izzy Kotane or Is Kotane or whatever that y'all want uh, to call them. But I was just very intrigued about their culture. Okay, we all know what eco time they really love and love about it. I was like, ah, see, they bad dog the way they liked to dress, mainly this T-shirt. It's a maplomo. It was very, very popular, and they would like you know dance and stuff like that. Um, this group will challenge that group and whatnot and whatnot. Go see who is richer than which group. Y'all understand me? So please do y'all, please get yourself some drink, please relax, because it's about to go down, it's a Friday, oh, listen to that, it's a Friday, get yourself some water, get yourself some beer, wine, pound wine, Hennessy, whatever works for y'all. So just relax and don't take everything so seriously and i hope some of y'all know that what we say here is not necessarily true we're just here to clown around and have some fun here on the internet so if y'all don't know what e kotane mean i'm gonna put it out here and i'm just gonna read easy easy kotane ugu kotana or rather kotane refers to south african township or dance battles in which individuals or groups of individuals compete against each other in front of large crowds to determine which party is wealthier these battles are performed using material items such as money mobile phones clothes alcohol or foods in most instances a battle is won by the in intentional destruction or worst stage of one's worst stage of one's own expensive items to demonstrate the lack of concern for which material possessions due to the ability to afford more of the same a competitor's uh, chances of victory are improved by having items that are more expensive than those of their opponent in uh, um sorry it can be money or clothes some of the Easy Kotani are from Botswana, fearless Moshe. Ah, okay. And then the origin, they say uh, the word Easy Kotani is a slang word that originates from uh, the Zulu word Osi Koten, Os Koten. Oh, Os Koten means people who live in the bushes or bundus. Oh, damn. And that is derived from the Zulu word Isi Kota. Eh? Isi Kota. That means bush. The singular form of the Zulu word is called Usikoteni, Oskoteni, or Oskoteni. This term is township slang for hustlers who live in le uh, in lavish lifestyles, nice, expensive clothes, etc., uh, without having a job or owning a business. What the hell? Where are they getting all that money from? Damn, Saz, what? <laughs> You can call them a modernized beggars who, uh, who live by using illegal ways to satisfy their hunger for their lavish lifestyle. Oh God, okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. It's the Kotan originates originated in the early 2000s in the South African township of Ekuruleni uh, Metropolitan, previously known as the East End, but mainly stated in Katlehong Hall. Oh, damn, this day in Katlehong? What the hell's going on? This hell's going on in Katlehong? Oh God damn. One of the township in uh, uh, in Eastern, the act re the act remained largely unnoticed until it gained popularity in 2011 and 2012. A similar trend called Uswenka, you, you know, existed in South Africa in the 1950s, where migrant workers and laborers dressed themselves in their finest suits and shoes to compete in contests. Hmm. The winner of this contest would win money, household um, necessities, 
or livestock which they would send back home to their families okay so y'all saw that there's a whole bunch of stuff going on and uh, by the way somebody was telling me that I don't know how to read my grandma is bad okay and I told her she said to me she she this person right here I don't know who she is mm -mm -mm. she said to me Hey, your English grammar now. Mm. So, meaning that my English is bad, y'all. So, I tried today to read as best as I could. I hope this reading, the grammar, uh, she's happy with it. And I asked her, uh, I should be reading more, you know. I need to get my, uh, I need to get my... What is it? My dictionary back with me. I need to read more. Uh, actually, I need to go back to grade one so I can learn grammar, so I can learn actually how to say words because I don't know. I don't know. Some of you are actually taking this very seriously. Y'all forget that this is a character. This is all put on, y'all. Y'all be sitting there mad as hell that the English is bad. It's not the way that y'all like it. But I'm going to tell you, just please relax, okay? This whole thing is not as serious as you think it is, okay? So I'm waiting for her to tell me which school should I go and consult in Canada so I can go learn my grammar, so I can learn more words, I can enunciate, okay? The way that she liked, because apparently I don't know how to read. But yo, I digress. I didn't come here. I didn't come here for this. We coming here for our materialistic boys, Apple Ultra Male. You know, like this boys. As y'all, y'all, y'all saw that whole thing. Would see this whole thing started in Tatlahong. Yeah, boy. Tatlahong, I'm be batanuk swing. I'm be batanuk sulana. You know, I can just imagine. You know, being a child coming from a household who your parents are not that lavish. They don't have e imali and stuff like that. It was tough. It must have been tough because then they go to these parties. Be kuna ma party e tatlahong dala. One kela makasla wa se tatlahong. It was always party, and people would always show up with the finest clothes. Okay, and e kotane. I don't think at the time. Um, they were that popular but uh, i you know people would just go there dress like you know you're wearing nikes this was the time before Apple gucci and lv's and and all this other stuff that this young generations or the gen x or gen z or whatever you guys call yourself was popular okay now what i'm trying to say is like people laughed at this trend you know because of what it stood for some of the things like i mean they would destroy some of the expensive items because they are in co competing with the other groups you could see yeah i can just you know smash this bottle of ciroc or whatever don't care it's expensive buy another one you know what are you guys going to destroy over on the other side i don't know girl i was not there i was not east kotani i have not i didn't contact nobody okay so this is what a lot of people were upset about the way this Kotani culture was or seemingly how it was destroying a lot of uh, young people's lives because most of these kids, some of them did not come from wealthy backgrounds. Some of them, their parents didn't even work, you know, so the little that the parents have, the kids would want that money for them to go buy them amakaved. Y'all know, y'all remember that. Y'all remember I'm a Cavella days. If you didn't have Cavella, you know, you, you, ain't, you ain't it. You ain't it. And I know most of those people that were dressing in Amacavela and stuff. I want to see them today. Most of these material boys, where are they today? Where are they today? Y'all understand? It was their thing. Like each and every generation, they have their own thing. You know, like right now we have I'm a piano. That's the, that's the new thing happening okay but back in the day this was like oh god oh damn what's going on here this dude ho hold on we gotta pause this thing no this is not my eyes i'm taking off my glasses I damn it's still the same thing mm -mm -mm. this this dude right here he's wearing three pants he's wearing the pants on top of pants on top of other pants on top of under underpants i don't know if he's even wearing underpants you don't need other pants if you're gonna go out there wearing three jeans at the time <laughs> what the hell's going on 
what the hell is going on? Like, what are you proving? Ogote, how many? This jean cost me uh, five thousand. Nale, it cost five thousand. Nale, it cost five thousand. Atu dozin cost six thousand. Yeah, it's keep a less. It's a man sharing on a sin cost eight thousand. Like, it was that culture for me. It was like it was too much because, like, like I say, like it was creating a society of uh people thinking that being successful is owning material things is owning expensive things and of other people that are around your circle that's how they sort of viewed themselves okay and i won't say i would know for sure but most of them if they saying they didn't even work how were they getting money you know what what were they getting themselves into right so that was the world of Eco Tan, you know? Like they would go in, in stores like this one here. People are out here, people are trying to shop. People can't even enjoy themselves. People can't even buy, people can't even pay. Everybody's disgusted there watching. The guy that works there, the guy in the counter there, he's disgusted. He doesn't know how to, what to do with himself. Hmm? Why are you all embarrass yourself like this? I know this was your culture and stuff, y'all were happy. But, you know, unfortunately, this, this whole trend, like I say, every generation have its own trend. This happened before the takeoff of social media. Can you imagine if this, if we had social media in the early 2000s? God damn. My goodness, this guy's they would have been like so famous, you know, because a lot of people right now on TikTok, little video a little style that you post out there you be, you go viral you understand what i mean like i do i understand like most viral dances most of them come from south africa wait hold on pause again what's going on so this dude's out here out here wearing spongebob clothes that spongebob no oh good he was out there cottering other people spongebob these got spongebob do they even know? Damn, you know what? Those boys were supposed to be at home watching SpongeBob. They're out here buying KFC, showing off with their shows. Like, damn, man, this is laughable sometimes. But I understand that was just their culture. That was what they enjoyed to do. I guess they were not bothering anyone, okay? I think also, again, at that time of those years, these were times before, um, you know, the, the pandemic of Amanyawupe, you know, right now, Inyawupe everywhere. You understand? Like this, this was condoned by chicken licking, chicken licking. What? You, you guys just want to trend for nonsense. Like, seriously, y'all, we're out here showing these kids that, yeah, oh my God. So you see, as you see, now they're battling. Okay, so what are we gonna do? See? Oh, we're gonna burn our tips. Oh, goddamn. Mm -mm -mm. For 39 doll, 39 rand chicken? No, not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it, y'all. I decided to make this video on during the day because I wanna do the video during the night. Because I'm scared of this house, y'all. <laughs> I know what to do. I'm scared of this house. I found out this house was built in the 1970s. I'm scared. So I got to watch my words. <laughs> what I talk about. So anyway, girl, I digress. So this whole situation of this, 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 uh, is Kotane. I feel like if the epidemic of Amanyawupe and the drugs and stuff like that, the way they were showing off the world, they would have showed up, showed off how much drugs they'd be buying for each other and stuff like that. How many, how much drugs am I gonna sniff a day? You know, battling with the other group. I'm glad that you know the the epidemic of those drugs were not happening at that time. Cause I remember at that time I was also I was still in South Africa at that time. I don't remember a lot of people doing drugs. I like in early 2000, 2005. The drugs pandemic to you know like the younger younger generation started up later you know like after 2010 like i mean not like earlier like later late 
around like I'll say 2008, 2009. I don't know. I never did drugs. I don't smoke. I don't do none of that. Okay. I drink water. I live for the Lord. Okay. I pray. I have my Bible, even though somebody said I don't know how to read, but I try. I wear my glasses and I got binoculars. I try to read y'all. I read my Bible and I live for the Lord. Okay. I don't do none of that. I don't touch drugs. Never. I don't free base. Okay. I don't smoke. I've never done those things. You understand? But anyway, y'all. Though, people like to mock Ikotani. But I look like Ikotani right now. You know, the, 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 the people that are famous right now. Forgetting Uguti Nabo right now. The things that they do. They're mimicking Ikotani. Do y'all think it's necessary for all of your celebrities right now showing us their house hotter? Hmm? Showing us their car hot. Showing us the food, restaurant, bass quarter is the very same things that Ikotani were doing. They've been there, done that. I do feel like honestly, they need to make a documentary. We need a documentary, y'all. We need a Netflix documentary for these boys right here so we can see how they got around in dressing in a SpongeBob, a grown ass man out there dressing as SpongeBob. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. But anyway, y'all, I do understand that every generation they have their own thing. Like they always think that they're better than the other past generations. Like Nati, when we were growing up, you know, coming up and we were thinking like we were the it, you know, all our parents, what they were doing, they, you know, they've they never seen anything. We, we thought we were better. We thought we were better than them. Everybody always think that about themselves. You'll understand, right? But like I'm saying, right now, the, today's generation, most of them are on drugs. I mean, it's not a laughing matter. That's a pandemic. Uh, the government of South Africa have to deal with that issue expeditiously. But I don't think I, I uh, that what was that person's name? That's it. I didn't know. Really. Do you agree with that word that I just used? Okay, maybe it's a, maybe it's a wrong word. You don't. Yeah. Okay, I don't know how to read, but okay. Mm -mm -mm. So. Ikotani did their own thing at their own time. It was their time to shine. They need cut some. I mean, sometimes by but I always cut some. It was their time to shine at that time. Okay? We all not gonna shine at the same time. Never gonna happen. Okay? Can't do it. Can't do it. So now that's what I'm saying, Uguti, Konamanji, I'm a celebrity wing lapo. They're out here busy quartering you. Van Kotaji. Every day, Van Kota. By any quarter, people that are going to conquer, what do you all think they're doing? By a quarter now, bo. you know, so they shouldn't be out here, you know, behaving like they are the better generation, putting down all these kids. Yeah, they this was their thing, you understand? Big we in oh, yeah, and y'all should just let them enjoy what they did. They were not bothering anybody, they were just dancing, y'all, like the dance moves. The dance moves, I know, I know today some people are going to see this video and they're going to go and copy all these dance moves and not credit all these young men that were out here risking their lives dancing. Ain't nobody was out here supporting them. People like to steal other people's shit. Yeah, there we go, I said it. People like to steal other people's shit, okay? I, I think their dances were very unique. I mean, I don't know how to dance. I don't drink. Like, they were very, very unique. And they were different. Like, I I do feel the I'm a piano artists, they also were influenced by E. Kotan. I know. I like, honestly, uh, RIP to Kilakao. Kilakao used to to do the very same dances that these guys used to do. I don't know if he was also a Kotane, but some people said he was, but um, I don't know about that, but I'll say allegedly, I don't know. So he used to dance. He would dress in those shirts. So I would say maybe he was also a Kotane and stuff like that. So 
it, it, it's it's a culture that keeps giving, you know. So Ikotani did their own thing. They started this culture of material, material culture, and the dance moves, you know, Ukulana Irandi, Nigetaivo, and stuff like that. And then you have now I'm a piano artist. Before they even release the song, they gotta go and cook up a dance. Y'all know, y'all out there doing your TikTok challenges. Can y'all imagine if y'all were out there doing, trying to do these TikTok challenges these people are doing right there? Oh, Lord, oh my gosh. You would be trending all over the world The people thinking that they're the best dancers that has ever come out on planet Earth. Y'all understand that, right? But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to highlight Ubuti. Every generation can also feed off to a newer generation. Okay, people always people always do that. Like like I, it looks like this guy. It's like a newer video. I don't think this video is like an older video, but was inspired the dance moves of uh, Ikotani dance moves. Some of the dance moves I've seen. Some of the dance moves that Amapiana are doing right now. Those were Ikotani dance moves. You know, so y'all y'all better give respect where it's due. People are out here laughing at Ikotani. People are laughing about Ikotane, most of Ikotane right now. They're out here doing drugs because some of it, some of them that had money, uh, they would spend their money on doing drugs. So I don't know about that. I haven't seen it. I'll do my research. But a lot of people would laugh and saying that they're doing a lot of uh, Amanya Upa boys. Okay? People are laughing. It's funny because it's not happening to them. Or it's funny because their children are younger at the time, right? It's funny. It's always funny, right? Ha ha ha. You're laughing. It's funny. Until it happens to you. Your son is, what, five years old. Y'all are out here laughing. Let's see you in the next 12 years. Let's see you in the next 15 years. Let's see if you're going to have the same, the same thoughts, the same laughs, you know? I do understand the Kotani with dancing, but come on, y'all. Y'all pull your pants up. People are eating. Y'all out here dancing and farting. People are there. <laughs> Damn. Mm -mm -mm. That's why they were making fun of the Kotani. Because of that, y'all would be out here with your pants down, dancing where people are eating in the goddamn front of a restaurant. Mm -mm -mm. In front of a restaurant. So... What I'm trying to say is, do all of the other genres, all of the other celebrities, were they all inspired by Ama Ikotan? I know they have. I know they have. We all know they have been inspired by them because they right now, right now Ama Piano is, their artists are spending big dollars on clothes. Clothes, bruh. Clothes, clothes that if you gain weight, ain't gonna fit you no more. You lose weight, ain't gonna fit you no more. You are spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on material things. Okay, so I would say this is like a bougie. These people are like bougie katanas. Y'all know that these people are bougie katanas. Mm mm mm. It's just that a Kotani born at that time, like I say, Abu Gucci Nanani, it was not that famous. They were just they like that attire, Yama Flower, Nama Plumamantariani. That was just that was just it. You know? But we cannot forget Ubuti out here right now. All your influencers are out there dancing with with booze and out there showing off. Look, 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 look. See? They're out there cottering. Kota. All day, every day. See? This shirt right here, I know it's another brand, but y'all understand? I'm not saying that people should not enjoy their money. Enjoy your money. Okay? But do we need, do we have to see how much you spend on your clothes? How much you spend? Huh? In the next 10 years, y'all be out here with your videos asking for people to donate. My gosh, my God, I wish nobody could come and ask me to donate because I don't know how to read y'all. I have money. I don't know how to read. Nobody should come and ask me for money, y'all, because I don't know how to read. 
my grammar is bad. <laughs> but my bank account don't know that I my grammar is bad. My bank account, my bank balance, y'all. <laughs> my bank balance, y'all. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. My bank balance don't give a damn. But my grandma. But anyway, girl, I digress. So now I'm born again on Pesane. We are driver with like Imalia Gama Marke. Okay? There we go. So when you go to Conca, you have to buy, I don't know, I don't even know what that alcohol name is called. It's got a spade on it. But apparently it's supposed to be the it. If you're drinking that, you have made it in laugh. Forget it. Do y'all know what alcohol does to y'all? Do y'all know what it does to you? Do y'all know what it's doing to your brain? I would rather take my money and buy a Gucci, y'all. I would rather take my money and go find a teacher. <laughs> I'd rather take my money and go find a teacher that's gonna teach me good grammar so I can come back here and talk to you in a British accent and enunciate so y'all can understand that I know how to speak English, y'all. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm not gonna see heaven. But anyway, so you, as you can see, see? Kota, by a kotana, ni a kotana e konka yo. Come on, y'all stop it. Ni a kotana, a cigar, drinking whatever that you're drinking. Your body ain't doing well. You're not doing well. You're killing your body. You're killing, you killing your liver. Y'all are killing your liver. Just because you want to be seen e konka. Conca don't give a damn about you. <laughs> Conca don't give a damn <laughs> about your health. They don't give a damn. They want their money at the end of the day. Yeah, but now, caught, 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 caught. Anisako, what the hell? God damn. This dude is drinking. I hope he was not wearing that. I hope he was not wearing that. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. First of all, he's wearing skinny jeans. There's... Yabo, yabo, ikotan, ikotan. Unless maybe this guy, he used to be a skotan back in the day. Now he's fat, you know, and he still want to be in the game. But, you know, he's just going to be like, I'm going to drink my drink outside the shoe. It's going to be a new trend. Y'all have all these challenges. This new generation, y'all have problems. Y'all got all these challenges. Hmm? What's the next challenge? Wipe your ass with razors. That's your next challenge. Because y'all will follow any challenge just to have likes and views and comments. And I hope they don't come and comment to y'all and tell you that you don't know. Your English is bad. You got bad drama. <laughs> I got bad drama, y'all. I don't know how to read. I don't know how I don't know how to survive life. To be who where I am today. <laughs> but not knowing. See, bang, bang, book, book, book. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Look at his face. Look at his face. Drunk as hell. You're drunk. Wasting just because. What does that do? Do they get medals? Do they get a certificate? That you were drinking? First of all, I also know that in South Africa they're out here selling your fake booze. Y'all are out here celebrating for fake booze. I'm not saying that those people were out here drinking fake booze. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. All of these people are all ecotani. All your celebrities are all ecotani. They're out here showing us things that nobody else in the rest of the world has asked them about. Okay? Ecotani mongelabant. Bayan kota every day. Hmm? But who? Look where I am. Who? I'm in an airplane. Cotta. Hmm? I'm eating steak and chops. Cotta. <laughs> but I'm caught. That's all these dudes have done. They need their flowers. Okay? These dudes deserve their flowers. I, Cotani, deserve all of the praise they need in the goddamn world. They changed the game in South Africa. They changed it all. Okay? They put the swag where the swag wasn't. They put its caught on it. Like wasting food like that, burning money and all of that is the goddamn same thing that y'all are doing right now in 2022 at Conca or anywhere else. Y'all are out here showing off all your monies, 
all your South African rand money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I said. <laughs> With my non-good grammar mouth. <laughs> anyway, y'all. Listen, I've been talking too long. Making no goddamn sense since I don't even know how to have good grammar in my mouth. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. And please, y'all, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I do like comments like that. You can come and tell me I'm ugly. You can come and tell me I don't have no ass. You can come and tell me I don't have no big hips. I'm going to take it, okay? I will take it. I'll be happy. Okay, you already know you don't know how it look like, but you can come and tell me, cuss me out. Tell me I'm a, I'm a piece of crap. You can come and tell me I'm ugly. I'm good with that. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. And uh, I will see you again on my next one. Uh, I am, I gotta go. I gotta go find out where I can find this grammar teacher. She can teach me all these things. I'm waiting for this person to recommend me people that I can go learn. Uh, I actually have to quit my job and everything so I can go to grade one, y'all. So you can go learn grammar. I don't know where they teach grammar. Which grade, y'all? Which grade? Can y'all check tell me? Because I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm dumb. But anyway, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video and I will see you again on my next one.